Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video in a different uh, type of video. We are starting a new series, a college football 25 dynasty mode uh, series. This is exciting because we've been waiting a long time uh, for college football to come out and it finally has. It's been 10 years um, since you know the last one didn't release but since we've gotten the last one basically it's been 11 years basically i uh, played a bit of uh, college revamped here and there and uh like would mod my ps3 to play it but this is different man this is on the ps5 this game looks insane man i played a little bit of it so far and i've enjoyed it um but i am just excited to get into this series and as you can see we are rebuilding uh vanderbilt this team is interesting they have been the laughing stock of college football really for the past few years um, um school records i think i don't know if it's going to show what our team record is but uh it's pretty bad uh, i'm pretty sure last year they went two and ten and they might have went two and ten a few years in a row uh, this team has not been good at all um since really ever i mean they're in the sec so they really don't have it you know they really don't have it easy either. Um, so let's look here at the team roster. Um, this is college football, so I'm not really familiar with the rosters. I do know, you know, some players here and there. Uh, but our best player is a senior, which is unfortunate because we're just starting the dynasty. He's going to leave us soon. Uh, CJ Taylor, 88 overall. Then after that, it's not very pretty. We have Langston Patterson at an 82 overall with the boost right now. An 81. Uh, 79. An 80 junior Cheryl, he's somebody who's going to be interesting. Um, you know, if he has two good years in a row, he might just get drafted as a junior next season or after next season. Uh, he's a sophomore, and he's an 80 overall. He's got nice speed. Um, he doesn't really do anything too tremendous with the ball in his hands. I don't know why that exited right there. Um, but he's a solid, you know, solid player, and I've used him a little bit, and he's fun. Uh, Cedric Alexander, he's not too fast or anything. Um, you know, this roster is just not too amazing. But you can see our quarterback, Nate Johnson, has 95 speed, 95 acceleration. He is an athlete. Um, he's a junior, so we're probably going to have him for this year and then next year, and he'll be gone. But he's looking to transfer um, because he doesn't fit. Uh, he doesn't like our coach, which is me. Um, and then we also have a wide receiver at... Uh, He's a sophomore, Micah Bell from Houston, Texas. 97 speed. He can he's got he's got a burner on him, man. Our tight end is a junior redshirt, Eli Stowers Stowers. 88 speed. So we have some serious speed on this team. Even this freshman Bryson Coleman. 85 speed. That's actually really good. Um we do need some help on the offensive line. They're, you know, they're solid. But these guys are old. Uh, some of them are old, um, and they're just not that good yet. Um, our D-line needs some help as well. Really, this whole team needs help. These <laughs> some of these linebackers are bad. Um, cornerbacks are solid. We got you know some speed here and there. Um, safeties are actually really solid, and you know, that's where our best player is, C.J. Taylor. Um, but that's the roster. Let's take a look at what recruiting I've done so far uh, to get us here, and then we're gonna hop into the first game against uh, my hometown squad. The Nevada Wolfpack. So we go here to recruiting. And the number one guy we have right now is Mitch Tandy. He is number one uh, in terms of interest for our school. As he's interested in us. Uh, we have a pipeline from Tennessee because we're in Tennessee. I think we're in Nashville. And then we also have, I chose uh, Southern Florida for our pipeline for our coach. Um, because, you know, there's some real good football players from Southern Florida. Um, of course, I don't know any off the top of my head, but some athletes coming from over there but if we go over here to recruiting um i think we have 500 hours um so mitch tandy i would love to have a big defensive tackle coming already um let's search his social media um looks like i don't know what it did honestly oh let's, let's look at his social media spend some time scrolling through his social media I don't I really don't know what this does. I really just started playing this game. Um could send the house on him. Let's DM the player. Let's see what he said. Okay. 
I don't know what it's saying, honestly. What are you saying? Contact friends and family. I want to get this guy on the team. And let's just send the house. Let's send the house on him. And we'll see if he, you know, wants to come to Vanderbilt, man. Um, so, yeah, we'll do all that. He looks pretty good. Tori Devine. This guy might be insane um, as a freshman. He's 92 speed, 82 zone coverage. He's a zone player. He doesn't play a ton of man coverage, but... Uh, He'll come in. He'll be a true freshman. He'll play right away. Um, Four-star, and he's a gem. He's somebody I want to get on this team. Let's so search through his social media. Let's give him a DM, and then let's contact friends and family, and let's send the house. These two guys I need for sure on my team. Um, let's go to Dre Miner. Um, he's solid. Nothing special. So I don't know if we're going to offer him anything. He's a Juco player he's a junior uh, six foot one on 86 would you know we'll give him a scholarship he's got 91 speed 92 speed um alex coda it's got a very nice nickname or not nickname last name so we're gonna try to get him into our program because i like that last name you know what i'm saying it's got a, he's got a good he's got a good last name so we'll search through social media um, I don't really know what that does. I think maybe next week it'll tell us. But we're going to be looking at some quarterbacks. Javante Wiggins, you are done. But we got some interesting guys here. Shaquille Roslau. Rosau? He's okay. I don't really like him that much. Uh, same with Garrison Kuti. He's pretty solid. 91 throw power, 92 speed. Pretty solid accuracy. But these two guys are the ones I am looking at. Um, Matthew Cheek and Conrad Thorne. Uh, Conrad Thorne looks amazing. I mean, 96 throw power, 94 speed. Um, Matthew Cheek, 96 throw power, 94 speed. I mean, these guys are basically the same um, players. I think Matthew Cheek might be a little bit better at scrambling, but I mean, they're damn near the same. So, you know, DM him, you know, contact his friends and family. We'll send the house on him. Um, same thing with this guy. We got 355 hours. Um, I don't really know who else I want to scout. Uh, Victor Ezuchaku. He's actually garbage. He is not Vincent Iwuchaku. Um, let's see. Kun. Charles Kun. I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say the other. It sounds like the other pronunciation. I don't want to say it. Um, he looks pretty solid. Not going to lie to you. Uh, we'll, I'll give him a bunch of stuff. Active actions. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but I'll probably do this after the game just so I can get more in depth. Um, but those, that's how our uh, prospects are looking right now. We need a quarterback um, because it looks like our guy might you know, move on. Uh, Nate Johnson right now, he might move on. I think that's what his name is. Nate Johnson. Is it Nate Johnson? Who knows? Probably. Um, very basic name, but let's get on to this game against the Wolfpack. They have not been a good team at all. Um, I mean, we've been terrible, and we're still rated higher than them. Um, let's, let's just get into this game, man. Uh, you know, start off the season nicely. They are already 0-1, which is pretty typical of UNR. Uh, let's get into our first game of College Football 25, and honestly, I hope you guys will enjoy this. Uh, the, what do you call this? The broadcast? The broadcast for this stuff just looks insane. Um, the field is incredibly realistic as well. It looks just like you and ours. Um, I forgot to put our guy back there to return kicks. Uh, he's not going to do it this kick, obviously, but he'll do it next kick. Tristan Brown is returning kicks. I want 97 speed back there. I'm not going to lie to you. Micah Bell, I think that's what his name is. Yeah, Micah Bell. And then I want him returning punts as well. He's going to get his money's worth at all. But we are playing UNR, so it might, you know, might appear a little bit easy this game. Gonna roll out. Can we throw that on the run? That's a dot right there. Who is this? Spencer? I don't know who that was. Oh, Skinner. That's who his name is. All right. That's a nice play right there. We get a, another first down, and we're kind of driving on this UNR team right now. Tan this one off. Got some good blocking. Breaking tackles. Who is this? This Makai Young? That's what I like to see. That's some good, some really good running right there from a, the young man, the backup. Uh, I could be looking for Cheryl here or Stowers. Looks like man coverage. Oh, Stowers beat his man with ease. He doesn't have gloves on. He's going to score, though. That's a nice play right there. 
UNR and man coverage. Just going to take advantage of it. Hit the CJ Stroud dance. And we score with ease. We score in a minute and 19 seconds on this UNR team. Us, man. That is what I like to see from Alexander. Let's run four verts, man. We're, we kind of got it going right now. Kind of got it going right now. And as I say that, we're going to get sacked there. Just going to throw it up for Bell. That's a dart right there. Wow, being hit there from Nate Johnson. And he's off to a great start. 5 of 7 for 96 yards, I believe that said right there. Let's go to slants. Can anybody get open? Looks like the rookie, or not the rookie, the sophomore, Micah Bell is going to score. And already it is 13 zip in the first quarter. This one might be a blowout in week one. There's a big play there from Lee. Devin Lee from Georgia. That's a nice play. I love to see that. Driving now, and they're running this no, uh, no huddle offense. The crowd is very realistic. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Very realistic. Just going to have a different running back in the game right now other than Sean Dollars. That's good coverage right there. And we're going to force third down. Do we have it in us to get a stop right here? Can we force a mistake from UNR is the question. Oh, that's a great comeback route. If the DB breaks on that like a little bit sooner, Mr. Barry. You could have had a pick right there. But doesn't happen. That one's going to be a pick, though. We get the interception, and we're taking off. I don't know who this is. He's slow as hell, though, when he trips over. But he gets the pick. It's going to be a user pick. And I think we're down to, like, the 40. Bryce Cowan. All right. You're probably not a coverage guy. But I love to see it. Looks like they're running a blitz right here. I'm going to hit Michael Bell. This little zig route. Solid coverage. All right, third and ten. What are we looking for? We can escape the pocket. Can we get that over his head? We do with ease. It's Merrill. Oh, my goodness. Shook Coates, and he's down to the six-yard line. Yep. Down to the six-yard line. All right. Oh, Bell is wide open. He's going to score his second touchdown of the first quarter. The sophomore stepping up. Three catches and two of them have been touchdowns. Another perfect kick. We are killing UNR 21 to nothing. It's rainy here in Reno, Nevada. Very gloomy. Very in un uninteresting weather. It's another user lurk. I don't know who the hell that was. Uh, I don't really don't know anybody on this team. It's Langston Patterson. I think he's like our second best player on the team in terms of overall. And he gets a pick right there. That is nice. Let's test their best corner. Let's throw a deep shot up to Skinner. And he comes down with it. And he's down at the 19. Oh my goodness. We cannot ask for more than this. It doesn't look like we're going to get a playoff. But a phenomenal first quarter. And we're on the 19-yard line. We're killing this UNR team. Nevada has just stood no chance at all so far. 19. Can UNR get a stop on us, or are we going to continue to just massacre this team? They get pressure. Our quarterback, Nate Johnson, takes off. He takes a big hit, but he's down at the four. I should have slid right there, but there's the uh, 95 speed right there going to work. Let's hand it off to Alexander. Ah, I don't I don't like this look right here. Alright, let's see if we can get Stowers on a little out route. It's man coverage, and Stowers is gonna score with ease. I believe that's his second touchdown of the night. He's got two. Um, Michael Bell has two of them. Nate Johnson with four touchdowns in this first half. We might have to put the bench in at halftime it's a murder man cover two can we get another pick on Kramer oh holy shit I thought the ref was one of our guys I could have had a pick right there I thought the ref was one of our safeties or something I'm not used to refs being on the field and a big gain for UNR are they gonna go to a screen or hand it off again to Sean Dollars they do 
He might score right here, though. He gets to the four. Okay, Sean Dollars is having a good game. Everybody else in this team has not showed up at all. Kramer. Looking. Oh, that's a dot right there. I'm not going to lie to you. Way too easy. Let's see. Might go deep to Skinner again. Who knows? It's man coverage. Just going to throw it up in double coverage. And he comes down with it. And he's going to go all the way. What a catch from Cheryl, bro. The sophomore mosses two people. Oh, my gosh. Pass interference. It doesn't matter. Oh my goodness. All right. It's 35 to 7. They're running a screen for Sean Dollars. And we're going to get another pick. What the fuck is this quarterback doing, bro? Does. This one is over, man. This one I might have to play two games. I ain't going to lie to you. I might have to play two games cuz it's getting out of hand right here. Oh yeah, Cheryl, keep going. Another easy touchdown for us. That's six passing touchdowns in the first half. Cheryl, Bell, and Bowers or Powers or whatever his name is. These guys all have two each. Junior Cheryl, the sophomore. Two catches these past two plays. Look at Nate Johnson's first half. All right, this read option looks like they're sending a blitz from this left side. I'm just going to keep this one. Nate Johnson gonna take off do we have the speed to get the edge we do on coats we're just gonna get out of bounds a little bit of a late tackle in my opinion but it doesn't matter pick up the first down five for 61 is it's pretty good man it's pretty good let's go play action here can we work something deep we can't but Stowers is right there nice little juke from him and we are down with a gain of six. First half, he might get some Heisman consideration for the way that we're blowing this team out, man. Take off here. Nate Johnson, he's got a ton of speed and he's inside the 10. Six carries for 94 yards. Already have 400 yards. We'll see. Nate Johnson running around. How about he'll just take one in himself this time? Seven touchdowns in the first half for Nate Johnson. And uh, this game is just over, man. So, um, a very big beatdown. We only scored three points in the second half. I benched all our starters at halftime. So, you know, it makes sense for us to not score that much. Um, player of the game, Nate Johnson, did this in the first half, ladies and gentlemen. 310 passing yards. 58% completion percentage, which isn't amazing, but seven touchdowns, that's insane. UNR really had no answer for any of us. We were just too fast for them, and we came out and dominated them uh, in their crib, which is a bit embarrassing if you ask me. But we're going to play another game. I think we're going to play, I think we're playing the UGF Pandas uh, from Not The Experts YouTube channel, which is going to be interesting. But let me grab um, a thumbnail real quick, and then we'll get on to the other game. All right, we're uh, week two. Um, some stuff here. Our brand exposure went down for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, risk of transfer is our free safety, our middle linebacker. Don't care. Coach prestige, don't care. And then players at risk of transferring. This is one thing I'm a little concerned about. Nate Johnson wants to transfer, but it's not super high. But it's high enough to where I should be a little bit worried. Um, Makai. Makai Young, I'm pretty sure that's his name. My transfer. Stuff happens. Stuff happens, but SEC Offensive Player of the Week goes to Nate Johnson. SEC Player of the Week. Interesting. But congrats to Nate Johnson. And we're going to be playing the UGF Pandas. We'll go over to CFB. Of course, we had to. Player of the week. Let's see. Did anybody else do anything crazy? Let's go to the SEC again. Let's see the defensive player of the year or defensive player of the week is. Damn, LT Overton with three sacks against Western Kentucky. They bar they barely beat them. They won by three. Heisman watch. Let's see. Who's on the Heisman watch? Is it Nate Johnson? No, not yet. I say not yet, but I don't think we're gonna be a contender for enough for him to be on the watch. Um but recruiting. See if we have any updates on these guys. We are pretty heavily in the lead. 
uh, for Mitch Tandy. We're in the lead for Tory Devine, even though he's not in his top five yet. Same thing with him. Uh, Trey Miner or Dre Miners here as well. Um, search his social media and stuff like that. Set the house. That's what I like to see. Mike Daniels. We're in second place. It looks like Indian. Honestly, might run away with him. But, you know, let's give it one last ditch effort. Uh, Alex Coda. Uh, he wants to go to Rice. I think that's what that is. No, that's FAU. My apologies. I only have 100 hours left for this week. Um, and then we have some new guys up here. Romo doesn't want to be here because of a deal breaker, a brand exposure. All right, bro. Use check locked us out. Um, Trent Merriman, it's not really far down the line. Brad Clemens, though, doesn't want to be here. But Merriman, let's give you a scholarship even though you're a bust, apparently. Let's give you all this stuff you need, man. Everything you need, you can have it. All right, and then let's check, let's check out how our QBs are looking for us. In terms of overview, it looks like we're in the lead for Chad Thorne, and we're also in the lead for Matthew Cheek. So if we get both, I'm just going to have these guys battle it out. It looks like Matthew Cheek is getting pretty close to his thing. We're the only team to offer him so far, though. So if the other teams offer him, it might be we might be cooked. I'm not going to lie to you. But let's get into this game against the UGF Pandas, a.k.a. FCS Southwest. They are a 70 overall, but who knows? They could blow us out. We'll see. But this is going to be our home opener. I'm excited. Like our entrance, it's not rainy like it was in Reno. This is Nashville, Tennessee. It's a pretty solid market. I feel like you can get some solid brand exposure. But the fact that I didn't know Vanderbilt was in Nashville, Tennessee, could be all the uh, non-brand exposure, uh, <laughs> you know, explaining itself. I believe it's going to be Brown to return. Michael Bell is not a good returner, so I'm just not going to have him return. Let's see what Brown has, though. This looks like a solid run. It's a good return. If we get it a little bit further, we're going to get it to about the 44-yard line. I don't know. I'm kind of still in basketball mode. But a nice gain right there. We'll throw that one over the top of the linebacker to Cheryl, and he's going to get down to the 8-yard line. Pretty down to the 8-yard line. Throw it up, and Cheryl will catch it. This is going to be a very exciting duo this season. Nate Johnson to Junior Cheryl, giving him a little bit of a flex. Yes, I guess, man. I mean, we went nuclear on defense last week. So, I guess that makes sense. Through the air game, that's a nice pass. Just over the head of uh, Cohen right there. Motion. They're going to hand it off. Up the middle. And Kelly got close to it. the end zone. There's a handoff to Kelly again. This time he's going to get in. And it's tied up at... Well, it's not tied up yet. But it is 6-7. to seven, So UGF can tie it up right here. So they got three down linemen. Send a bit of a blitz from the backers though. Just going to unload it deep. That one might be picked off. It is... It's not a great pass. Oh my goodness, nice spin. Getting down to our competition. Just a handoff. It's Kelly again. Jadon Kelly. Putting in work right now. It's tied seven apiece. They're looking. That one's intercepted. It's a nice play there. We got some space on this left side. Everybody came out of nowhere though. This guy's slow. But I'll take the pick. Tied at seven apiece. And Alexander in motion. Oh, Bell burnt his man. That's going to be an easy touchdown. I believe that's his third of the year. Micah Bell. He absolutely killed his man on that slot fade right there. This kick is going to be haywire. Oh, they're looking corner. I don't know what happened right there. Now they score. A double post here. I'd be man coverage. Only got three down linemen. Oh, goodness gracious. Michael Bell torched his man again. 
His second touchdown of the day. Third and 10 from our own 10. Oh my goodness, they lost Cheryl. Oh my goodness, what a back juke. And yeah, we're gonna score a 90 yard touchdown. FCS just lost him. I don't know what they were doing, but he was wide open off the slant. Thing picked up Zay Hobbs. Able to come down with it and then run after the catch. It's impressive. But there is an impressive user pick right there. I don't know who that is. It's Bryce Cowan again. Our tight end is wide open. Stower is going to score too. That is the fifth passing touchdown of the first half. They're just delaying this game as much as they can. I'm going to go to the speed option. Oh, wow. He fakes the toss and then scores. That's nasty. I can't lie to you. That is nasty. We blocked the kick, though. The PAT. This big dude picks it up. Can we force a fumble? We don't. Seven-point game. Like, they've tied it. Damn near almost tied it up. I think they can do it. Oh, here's the keeper. Lay a boom. That's a nice hit there, but he doesn't fumble. Six now. Throw this one. That one's caught, too. Our cornerbacks just don't do a ton. A ton great. Wilson looking short. Missed tackles. Another missed tackle. And they're going to score. And just like that, it is a eight-point game they can make it a seven-point game right here makes no sense they throw another bubble screen another first down. bro they are moving the ball with ease right now fake this one they look short it's where we should have been broken tackle gets all the way to the one Wilson he'll keep it himself and he'll score and UGF has fought their way back from being down, I believe, 20. Third down and 13. Can you get open enough? Bell, he does. And he gets us to the 41. Well, Kylan Young. Let's see what he's got. Second touch of the game. And he is going to score a touchdown off the halfback stretch. Hey, man. We're going to get this guy in the game. He's got some juice to him. He's got 91 speed. And on his second touch, he scores. McKylan Young. That's what I like to see. Young still in the game. Give it to him again. Yeah, he's... He might start from now on. Oh, we missed it. Oh, my God. I knew field goals were hard. I seen on Twitter that they were not easy, but... Damn, man. So I'm not trying to get a copyright strike, man. Oh! I clicked on. All right, we can get the tackle though, right? Please. Oh, Stower, you're going to get open-ish. Break the tackle. Break another tackle. Break another tackle. Stay on your feet. Oh, my God. What a catch and run from Stower right there. That's beast mode right there, man. He broke three tackles? Or to keep it, I mean, which is just stupid. But we're going to keep it with Johnson up the middle. That's the dual threat ability of Nate Johnson. And he scores. Better be loud, man. They hand it off up the middle. He's going to be short. Fourth and one. Game on the line right here. We got to send some pressure. We send the pressure. And it's going to be incomplete. And I think we're going to survive this team, man. Somehow, some way, we are gonna survive the UGF pandas. Well, hopefully we do. Oh, see, I tried to give it off to him, man. Why, Madden? Why? Why EA? Why? Why are we changing the way the options work? You know what I'm saying, is this stupid? 
because the two minute warning's coming up, but this is press coverage. I gotta throw one up. It's not pressed. He backs off. Cheryl would make a play. Oh, such an idiotic play for me, man. That's a great disguise defense right there. Do we run it right or left? Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's just go right. Damn, not good enough blocking. This line sometimes does good enough, and then sometimes they just don't at all. You see that punt? Oh, it's going to be... Ah, it's not terrible. It's going to be like the 26. Hit him after the play. All right, man. Last possession. That's not... That wasn't the game-winning stop. This possession, we're going to have the game-winning stop right here. Let's use your D-lineman. Oh, Cohen, that's a pick for you, bro. That would have been his second. That would have been the third of this season, too. Looking short. Nice tackle. Keep him in bounds, too. Sheffield. They're looking curls. Man, bro, number 30 does not react to those at all. Curls and comeback routes are easy money on him. All right. What are they running? Curls again. This time it's a slant. Oh, my gosh. Dude, defense might be impossible in this game, bro. He's got six passing touchdowns. He's carving our shit up, bro. All right, 48 apiece. This looks like a basketball game. All right, Brown will return. Wow, the blocking just did not exist on that play. Optional blocking, optional defense. Non-optional uh close games though yeah I'll take this slide nice little first down run there from Nate Johnson almost got a hundred on the ground oh yeah Bell is gonna be wide open make that block right there make another block what are you doing it doesn't matter we're going to score. I was going to take a knee, but no, sir. Micah Bell, bro. He's a monster. That's his third, I think, of the night. Might be. It's definitely his second. But, oh, my goodness, what a play. It's his third. Waited for the block to come. Tried to wait for the second one. Didn't work. Just broke the tackle regardless. And uh, unless they scored 43 seconds, it might look like we walked away with this one. This has been a roller coaster game, man. They were uh, they were down by so much. There's a nice tackle there from Fontaine, Fontaine, or whatever. All right, I gotta watch sidelines. I already know they're passing. Spread out a bit. I don't know why that play action drew me in a little bit. Wilson gonna take off. Second and inches, they call a timeout. It could have been a lot worse for them. Cohen will use her him. Put some contains. Do the same thing. And then they waste their final timeout. I don't know what the hell they're doing, bruh. They got 27 seconds. I don't think the, the clock stops, right, when it's a first down anymore. Oh, yeah, we're getting inside pressure. He's keeping the play alive. That was smart, but I would have just took off and got out of bounds if I was him. It's just me, though. 21 seconds left. Stadium pulse is not too crazy. They're dumping it off. It's a flag. It's probably going to be holding our illegal man downfield. Damn, man. Second and 20. That's rough. 18 seconds left. For the 19, everybody just back up as far as you can, man. Oh, they could throw it to the tight end. 
Oh, he took off. He took too much time. I don't know if they're going to get a playoff. They're going to try to spike it, too. All right. Hail Mary coming up, man. Fourth and 14. I don't think his arm is strong enough to throw it 80 yards, probably. It's 75, but probably 80 yards to get it to the middle of the end zone. All right. Damn, we got somebody to get in there. Pick it off. Ball rolls around. We are 2-0. We didn't play a lick of defense. Uh, they dropped 20 on us in that third quarter. A little, uh, little worrying, but that is going to be the end of the episode. It is very late at night. Seven touchdowns for Nate Johnson. Damn. Damn. Um, I'm going to look up some sliders to see. Maybe it's too easy for us. Maybe it's not. You know, we just played some bad teams. I think we might play, like, oh. I think we play Bama next. Um, so, <laughs> that'll be fun. But, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.